3-1 San Diego. Back-to-back goals from the MVPs, Farber and Childs. Swift dumps one into the near corner, looking for Razor. Razor turns and shoots. Oh, and passed into the head of Susie, who scored! My goodness, what can't these suckers do? Razor flicks it straight to the forehead of Susie. Susie bangs it into the back of the net. It's 4-1. Suckers. Passed it down the middle of the park. Saldate had the loose ball. Tracked it down, then punched from behind by Velez to Reza. Ray on the midboards. Back behind him to Eddie. They exchange places. Ray turns to face goal on the red line. Straight away. Shoots and scores! Armando! His second long-distance strike of the year ties the game at six. So this power play could wrap into the fourth quarter, but it begins with 117 to go in the third, and the Sockers leading 7-6. to six. San Diego 1-for-2 on the man advantage so far tonight. Cross pass. Chaz! He scores! Hat trick goal! Good Charles! The assist to Eddie Velez! A beautiful cross-field pass! And Charles, a one-hop skipper into the back of the net to make it 8-6 to six, San Diego. And now what? Oh, Greg Howes, uh, the Legends coach, was leaning out over the field. All right, the whistle sounds. Here comes the free kick. It's Rivera just putting it to the edge of the crease. Back heel turn. Hey, Farmer. He scores. He scores. He scores. Galazzo. Brian Farmer. 2.2 seconds remaining. The Sockers are going to do it. They pull it out of the fire in Sin City as Brian Farmer heads one with under three seconds to play. Unbelievable. Farms, you're the man. A sixth attacker goal with two seconds left. The fans are stunned. The Suckers will win this game. It was Childs, a back heel, off the goal glass, and Farber headed it home. Just like he did to beat Anaheim in the Suckers' last one goal win. Brian Farber from Childs. Point two. Are you kidding me? A beleaguered fan base is filing out of the Orleans Arena. They hope to find better luck on the craps table tonight because the suckers have crapped out the legends. 6-5. 15th of the season for Whitmer. Left side, here's Charles again. Just shot it wide. Still loose down in front, a bad giveaway there by the Heat. A bicycle kick! Oh, was that a rip! Bicycle kick over the head, out near the top of the arc as the Heat got sloppy trying to get it out of their own end. And San Diego and Brian Farber now lead 4-1. Brian Farber at 10-38. Heat fans might not like the Suckers, but you've got to appreciate goals like that in this league. Farber's 18th of the season. You see Tattoo, the nervous moments just yes. before the timeout. And we're ready for the restart now. Nick Stavro, out of his own end, drives it all the way to the corner for Sean David. Keep it there, Sean. Keep it there. 18 seconds remaining. David. Keeping it down in the San Diego end. Susie grabs it, distributes to Luna. Oh. Here's Farber. Childs oh. with the equalizer. Do you believe it? With 6.7 seconds left, Jeez. Childs scores the equalizer. San Diego on the counterattack has leveled the match 5-5. Five, five. Childs' second goal of the game. He's a good player. Dallas with 6.7 seconds away from winning this game. A Let's Go Soccer's chance starts at the Valley View Casino Center. It's Swift, another long ball forward. He put it right on goal! Oh, it's in! It's in! I can't believe it! Riley Swift just got a goal! Riley Swift just got a goal! Sagu, a hot ball that he knocked down.
ran carelessly at his crossbar, and he knocked it into his own net. And Riley Swift has scored! Ha ha ha! 3-2 San Diego! His first in PASL play! Aaron with 60 seconds to play. Down 4-3 at home. It's Luna to Susie. Susie to Rovira. Diego fakes the left-footed shot. Susie to Cheeky on right wing. Crossing in the air. Siku in the middle of the crease. Rubenoy scores! Siku tried to take it away. And he dropped it in the middle of his crease. And Zay Roberto scored it. And the Suckers are level. Unbelievable! 4-4! Soccer's magic! 41 seconds left! A minute 51 on this power play. Soccer's ending regulation on a power play. 30 seconds to go in a 4-4 tie. It's Roberto de Susi. Offensive midfield. 20 seconds to Luna. Luna coming in on the red line. Down low, Childs. Childs shoots wide to the right. Off the glass is Eddie. On right wing with 10 seconds to go. It's Velez out straight away to Susie. Eight seconds to go in regulation. Susie, Childs, heads it off the goal glass. Medina can't get a shot away. It's to Velez. He shoots. He scores. He scores. He scores. He scores. Eddie Velez has won the game on the last second. There is no time left. The game is over. The Soccers win it! Soccers magic! Thank you, dear! Eddie Velez, with no time on the clock, put it in the crease! The Soccers have pulled it out! There is a full-on argument! Tattoo and Memba and Ellis and David are all jawing in the official's box. There's one second on the clock. They think it didn't go in time. We just saw the replay. It did. It did. It went in with one second. A red card to tattoo. Velez throws it in the stands. The ceremonial ball. One second. And the Sockers will beat the Sidekicks 5-4 to four tonight. Complete bedlam at midfield. The Sidekicks were trying to say that there would be, that the goal came too late. It did not. Eddie Velez with his second of the game, 13th of the year. Golazo! Cheeky. Out, Charles off the frame. Comes out on left wing to Eddie, who stops the ball. Tried to shovel it back into the crease, blocked by Sopaniera. Sushi! Charles score! Score! What a play! Sushi to Charles, made a diagonal run, touched it in on one try. Soccer's lead 5 4. 2.23 to play. Paul Casey! Yeah, baby! Golden goal overtime is underway. The next goal will win this game and send one team to the national championship. The other season will end by fishing the ball out of the back of their net. It's 5-5, five to five, San Diego and Las Vegas. Winner to play Detroit tomorrow night at 7.30. Loser's season is over. If at the end of 15 minutes nobody scores a golden goal, there will be a shootout to determine... This champion, uh, this semifinalist champion, Scotty Martin, to Nelson, uh, loses it to Nelson Santana, defensive midfield. Two teams going the same direction. Las Vegas left to right, or right to left, I should say. Oh, they did switch sides. Pardon me, that normally does not happen. San Diego's attacking right to left, and Las Vegas left to right. It's Nelson Santana across midfield. Bends one into the left, far corner. Enrique Tovar played it off the goal wall, and Scotty Martin takes it away for San Diego. With Charles jumping off, Susie coming on. A ball tried to feed through to Aaron. Uzi Tayu takes it at his own red line. First minute is off the overtime clock. It is O'Connor to Zay Roberto. Coming forward on the near wall, Zay. Across the red line. Into the near corner he goes. A double team greets him there. Back to Diego. Bends it off the frame. Go! 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 Tiki Luna! 
Cheeky Luna, he kicked it in, a scissor kick, a golden goal, the Suckers win, the Suckers win, they win it, 6-5, to five. Golazo, Suckers magic, Cheeky Luna! Review of the assist, 13-40, golden goal overtime, San Diego, your Suckers are to the final. Unbelievable! Cheeky! Diving for a scissor kick! Eddie Coker couldn't have done it better! The San Diego Suckers have never lost on their home pitch! And tomorrow night, they will play the Detroit Waza Flow for the second straight year with a Ron Newman Cup up for grabs! Oh, baby! Thank you, dear!